Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about getting everything set up to start programming in C. Now, in order to program in C, we're actually gonna need two things. The first thing we're gonna need is an environment where we can write our C programs. Now, there's a bunch of these different environments. Essentially, all you need is just a text editor. So anything that can you know, allow you to um, write text and then save that text in a specific file format, is going to work. Although uh, when we're working with C, a lot of times it can be useful to use a special environment called an IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Basically, this is a special text editor, which uh, makes it a lot easier for us to write our C programs in. So I'm going to show you guys how to install an IDE called CodeBlocks. The second thing we need to write our C programs is going to be something called a C compiler. Now C is a programming language, which means we can basically write out, you know, instructions that we want to give to the computer. But eventually for the computer to be able to execute those instructions, they have to be compiled, which basically means like translated or transformed into a language that the computer can understand. So we're going to basically download and install a special program that will do that for us. So let's get started. I am going to come over to my web browser and I'm just gonna go up to the Google search bar and I'm gonna search for a program called CodeBlocks. So just type in CodeBlocks C and this link should come up, it's codeblocks.org. Now this is an integrated development environment. It's basically a text editor that will make it really easy for us to write our C programs. So I'm gonna come down here into downloads and there's a bunch of options here. One says download the binary release, download the source code. We want to click on download the binary release. This is going to be the easiest option. So if you're on uh, Windows or Linux or Mac, you can install it from this page. So depending on the operating system that you're on, you want to click that. I'm on Windows. So I'm going to come down here to the Windows option. You'll see there's little options for us to download this stuff. So there's a bunch of options here. What we want to download is going to be this one right here. It says code blocks. Um, and then the version number, and then it says min gw hyphen setup. Basically what this is, is it's gonna allow us to install code blocks. So we're gonna be able to install that uh, IDE program. And we're also going to be able to install a C compiler. So remember I said we needed those two programs, we needed those two things, and this is actually gonna give us both of them on Windows. So I'm gonna come over here and click on the link to download this from sourceforge.net. And you can see it's gone ahead and downloaded that. So now let's head over to our downloads folder and I'm just gonna double click on this setup program. So this should open up a window where we can set up the program. And let's just click through this. So I'm just gonna click next. I'm gonna to agree to the license and basically just leave all the options as default and you should be good to go. All right, when that's done installing, it's gonna ask us to run code blocks. So we can just go ahead and do that. And it's giving me this little window here. It says compilers auto detection. Um, so you can just click on the one up here that's highlighted. It says GNU GCC compiler. And I'm just gonna click set as default and click okay. And there you go. We now have code blocks installed. So in the next few tutorials, we're gonna be learning about setting up code blocks, writing our first C programs and really just getting started with C. But for now you have everything you need to get started. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.